Dr. Glenn is coming to Southampton, England. Receive your miracles with three power-filled days at the Excel Convention. Releasing the Miraculous, featuring Dr. Glenn Arekian and his guest, Pastor Ose Iniemohan. October 10th through the 12th at Victory Gospel Center, 154 to 156 Portswood Road, Southampton, SO17 2NH. Go online for more details at glenarekian.org. Call 02380-551-300. This the week the on Faith Lift. Takes Jesus out of the realm of theory and makes him real. How many of you want to see a real Jesus? Even as what? The testimony of Christ was what? Confirmed in you. Circle the word confirm. Circle the word confirm and write this down. Write this down, please. The word confirm, write this down, is the Greek word bebaios. Bebaios, B E B A I O O -O O S. Got it? Right? Bebaios. And the word bebaios means, English, the English Bible uses the word confirm. The Greek text is the word bebaios, and it means to take a thing and make it real. To take something and make it what? Real. So the gifts of the Spirit confirms the testimony of Jesus Christ. Meaning, it takes Jesus out of the realm of the theoretical and makes him real. Did you hear what I said? Huh? The gifts, said this after me, the gifts of the Spirit takes Jesus out of the realm of theory and makes him real. How many of you want to see a real Jesus? It's one thing to hear about miracles. It's something else to see a miracle. Blessed are your eyes, for they shall see. Say amen, amen, saints. Now, now, I want you to write a few things down. Look at this here. Look at this. He says, So that you come behind in no gift. The Greek says, You're second to none. Waiting for what? The coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. I want you to write this down. I'm going to give you four things to write down quickly. Write this down. Number one. It says, waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Write this down. The gifts are until the coming of the Lord Jesus. The gifts of the Spirit are until the coming of the Lord Jesus. So until Jesus comes, the gifts are in operation. Number two. Gifts are a result of grace conferred. The gifts are as a result of what? Grace conferred. Number three. Write this down please. The gifts will enrich the lives, the spiritual lives of the church. Now look at me. Everybody say gifts. Come on, talk to me. Say gifts. Do you need pounded yam tonight? Hallelujah. Amen. I have eaten pounded yam before. It pounded me. <laughs> I couldn't. After eating pounded yam, I couldn't get up. All right, say gifts. Yes. Say it louder. Say gifts. Yes. Come on, say it louder. Yes. Say it again. Yes. Now, by the word gifts, write this word down. Gifts, grace, write this word down. Charismata. Right? Now, what do we mean by charismata? So if you, if you have people say charisma, charismata, right? So what, and, and people say, well, well, that just means gift. Write this down. Charisma means a gift that is conferred. 
Look at me now. A gift that is what? Conferred in order to deliver somebody out of trouble. Did you hear me? So the gifts of the Spirit is, is a grace conferred upon you to deliver somebody out of trouble. Are you hearing me, saints? How many of you know that there are a lot of people in trouble today? There are a lot of people sick, people depressed, people broke. The gifts is conferred upon you to deliver them who are out, who are in trouble. Are you hearing me, saints? Number four, write this down, please. The gifts confirms the testimony of Jesus. Now, so, go with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I want to show you this and then we're going to close. I'm going to give you some keys tonight. Come on, lift up your hands and say, I need the gifts of the Spirit. All right. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Let's read verse 31. Got it? Everybody read. But covet what? Earnestly the best gifts. Stop. Read again. Say it all together out loud, please. But covet. All right. Now point your finger at your neighbor's neighbor. Covet earnestly the best gifts. All right. Now look at me. Look at me, please. What is the best gift? What have, been, what have we been told for years? For years we were told that the best gift is the one that you need at the time. Right? That's what we were told. That the, the, best, gift that you, that, that, that the best gift is the one that you need at the time. Now while this is true, this is not what the Greek is saying. Now, circle the word covered in your Bible. And by the word covered, write the Greek word zelo, Z E double O, Z E L double O. And it means to be zealous, it means to be jealous, it means to be passionate, it means to be hungry, it means to be thirsty for, it means to have an intense and ardent desire. Be jealous, be zealous. For the best gifts. Everybody shout the best gifts. Best gifts. Circle the word, the word best gifts. Circle the word best. The word best. Now look at me. Look at me. The word best is a Greek word krititon. K-R-I-K-R-T-I-T-O-N. K-R-I-T-I-T-O-N. Crititon. Which comes from the root word kratos. Right? What does kratos mean? Power. So when it tells you seek ye, seek the best gifts, it's telling you seek the power gifts. Are you listening to me? Seek what now? Look at your neighbor and say, I'm seeking the power gifts. Say it louder. Say, I'm seeking the power gifts. What's the power gifts? The gifts of healings, the working of miracles, and faith. What kind of faith? Instant faith. Faith for the moment. Why do you need the power gifts? Because it gets resolved right there and then. Are you hearing me, saints? Can I hear an amen, somebody? Yeah. Lift up your hands. Say, from today. Come on, say, from today, I desire the best gifts. Say, from today, I am hungry for the power gifts. Someone say, well, oh, but the Bible said, but I'll show you a more excellent way. We don't need the power gifts, we just need love. Because after all, brother, then the Bible says now about his faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. You heard people say that? No. Love is the motive. 
Love is the motive. Hmm? But you didn't get saved by love. You got saved by faith through grace. You don't get healed by love. Jesus never said to the, to the woman with the issue of blood, thy love has made you whole. What did he say? Your faith has made you whole. Can I hear any man somebody? Now, so you need the gifts of the Spirit. Come on, put your hand in your heart. Say, I need, I need the, gifts of the, Spirit. the gifts of the Spirit. Look at me. If you are a tongue talker, you are already into the world of the gifts. You have already entered the door. And it's just a matter of time for you to develop, right? The prophecy, the working of miracles. Now, I'm going to show you how to get these things done in your life. Go with me. I'm going to go with me to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 1. Are you learning anything? Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. All right. Romans chapter 1. If you got it, say amen. amen. All right. Look at what the apostle Paul says here. Romans chapter 1, verse 11. Quickly, please. Romans chapter 1, verse 11. Ready? Paul says, For I long to see you that I may impart unto you what? Some spiritual gift to the end that you may be what? Established. I want you to ask, uh, how do you get, how do you activate the gifts of the Spirit in your life? How do you activate the power gifts? Because it is the power gifts and the gifts of the Spirit that will begin to make you a city taker. It's not just you being an orator. But you've got to display and have the manifestation of the Spirit. Now put your hand in your heart say, I live by faith. Say it again, I live by faith, but I minister by the Spirit. Say it again, I live by faith, but I minister by the Spirit. All right. So how do you get the gifts to flow in your life? Number one, you've got to desire it. Number one, you've got to do what now? Desire it. That's why the Paul says, desire the best gifts. Now, Proverbs 18, verse 1. Look in your Bible, please. Proverbs 18 and verse 1. Put it on the screen. Proverbs 18, verse 1 says, Through desire. What does it say? Through desire. A man having separated himself seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. Your desire will bring about a separation. If there's no separation, then you don't have a desire. There's two kinds of separation. Separated from and separated unto. Once you have a desire for the gifts of the Spirit, you will separate yourself from the carnalities of this world and separate yourself unto spiritual things. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. So your desire. So now what will your desire cause you to do? It will cause you to separate yourself to seek God by prayer and by fasting. By what now? By prayer and by what? Fasting. Look, look at me. You're not going to walk in the supernatural. If Jesus fasted, you're going to have to fast yourself. Well, now, Pastor, I, uh, you know, that's under the law. The only people who say that are those who don't fast. When Jesus fasted, was he under the law? Huh? Come on, talk to me, somebody. Huh? What is fasting? Fasting is forcing the impossible to become possible. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Attached to fasting is breakthrough. Fasting is inducing the delivery of your child. Fasting is inducing the delivery of your ministry. Can I hear an amen, somebody? Amen, somebody say amen. Amen? Amen. Fasting is making a demand upon God to force the impossible to become possible. So your fasting will cause you to fast and to pray. I mean your desire for the gifts of the Spirit. Listen to me. Have you ever heard a scripture where Jesus said, where your heart is? Huh? There will your treasure be also. Now where your treasure is, 
where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be also. In other words, whatever is your treasure, your heart will go after it. Correct? Now, what does that mean? Look at look. It's in Matthew chapter six. Put it up on the screen for me, please. Right? What does that mean? People say, "Oh, you got to put God first. You got to put first the kingdom of God." La 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 la. Is that what it means? Why? In what context did Jesus say that? Matthew chapter six. Go there for a minute. If you can put it on the screen for me, please. Matthew chapter six. Well, today we have a deal for you. I've got two powerful books in my hands, Receiving Direction from Above and Tetelestai. Now, they usually go for $10 each, but if you get the two together, only in this special deal, you can get the two for $15 plus shipping and handling. Order this powerful combo, Receiving Direction from Above and Tetelestai. Now, this is only for a time limit. This deal that we're giving you right now, two for $15. Receiving direction from above and tetherless die. They usually go for ten dollars each, but only for this time. You can get these two for fifteen dollars. Call the number on your screen, or you can go to our website www.glenarecon.org. Take advantage of this deal. And I'm telling you, your life will never be the same. God bless you. We're looking forward to hear from you. Call the number on your screen, or go to our website www.glenarecon.org. Verse 21. Got it? Everybody read, please. For where your treasure is. <laughs> All right. Now, in what context was it saying that? Back up. Back up to verse 16. Moreover, when you fast, be not as the hypocrites of a sad countenance, because they disfigure their faces, that they may appear unto men to fast. For verily I say unto you, they have the reward. Keep on, uh, 17, 18, 19, 21, please. But thou, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face. Next verse. For that thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto your Father, who is in secret, and your Father, who is in secret, shall see you and reward you openly. Verse 19. Lay not for yourself treasures upon the earth, where moth and rust does corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven. Right? The next verse, verse 21. For where your treasure is. In what context was it talking about? Fasting. Right? So whatever is your treasure. Look at me. You fast for what you truly treasure. Whatever you don't treasure, you will not fast for it. Why don't people fast for the healing anointing? Because they don't treasure it. Why don't people fast for working of miracles? Because they don't treasure it. If you treasure working of miracles and healing, you will fast for it. Are you not tired of going to church every Sunday and don't see any miracles? Are you not tired of just preaching, right? And nobody gets healed, nobody gets delivered. And you keep telling the people, by faith, you will receive. And nobody receives. Are you hearing me, saints? Can I hear an amen? amen? So you fast for what you truly treasure. So number one, you've got to desire it. Number two. Number two, please, quickly. Number two. The gifts come by impartation. The gifts come by what? Impartation. Paul said, I long to see you that I may impart some spiritual gifts unto you. Now quickly go to 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 5 and verse 6. Number three, write this down. It comes by fellowshipping. Number two, by importation. Look at 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 5 and verse 6. Let's read verse 5, please. God is talking to Saul. And thou, after that, thou shalt come to the hill of God, where is the garrison of the Philistine. And it shall come to pass when you are come there in the city, you shall meet what? A company of what? Prophets. Coming down from the high place with psaltery and a tablet and a pipe and a harp before them. And they shall what? Look at the next verse. They shall prophesy and the spirit of the Lord will come upon you and you will also prophesy. The company that you keep will determine the importation that you receive. So write this down. Your association determines your assimilation. Amen? 
So number one, it comes by desire. Number two, by impartation. Who is imparting you? Who is your spiritual father? Who speaks into your life? Or are you a renegade all by yourself? Number three, it comes by fellowshipping with the Holy Spirit. It comes by what? Fellowshipping by the Holy Spirit. Write this down. Fellowship is the key to impartation. Fellowship is the key to impartation. And number four, let me close. My time is up. Number four. It comes by boldness. It comes by what? Boldness. And now, Lord, grant unto thy servants that with all boldness, Speak thy word, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of your holy child, Jesus. And when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, but that they had been with Jesus, and they could not say anything, for a notable miracle was done among them. A miracle will shut the mouth of people. Amen. A miracle will shut the mouth of your enemies. Those who have been speaking against you, they will no longer be able to speak against you when you show them a miracle. But it takes boldness. It takes audacity. Can I hear an amen, somebody? Amen. If you're still praying this little timid prayer, oh Lord, you got to be like Jesus. Roll away the stone. And Martha said, Lord, by this time, he stinketh. Don't do that now. He stinks. Jesus said, didn't I say unto you, if you'd believe, you'll see the glory of God. Lift up your hands and say, if I believe, I will see the glory of God. Come on, say, if I believe, I will see the glory of God. How many believers do I have in the house tonight? then you will see the glory of God. I said, you will see the glory of God. Arise and shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Amen? Jesus said, roll away the stone. If that was you, if that was some of the people, you know what I said? Lord, we're just going to pray and pray and pray. Until we hear Lazarus knocking on the grave. Please let me out. Let me out. Jesus did not do that. Rolled away the stone. He made no provision for the flesh. If you make provision for the flesh. The flesh will be victorious. If you make provision for the Holy Ghost. He will manifest. Number four. You need boldness. And number five. Let me close with this. Stand on your feet. Number five. Do you want to attract the Holy Ghost? Do you want to attract the Holy Ghost? Then speak the word. Speak the word. He is attracted when you speak the word in confidence. The Spirit of God move upon the face of the waters. But nothing happened until God said something. He is the Spirit of truth. Nothing will happen until you speak the word in audacity. Where no wood is, the fire goes out. Where no what? wood is, the fire goes out. The fire is the fire of the Holy Spirit. The wood is the branch. Who's the branch? Jesus. Who is Jesus? The word. Amen? When you speak the wood of the word, the fire will be ignited. Can I hear an amen, somebody? Amen. Lift up your hands. Are you ready tonight? Are you ready tonight? Say, I'm ready for the gifts of the Spirit. Put your hand on your belly. Put your hand on your belly. Say, from today, I desire the gifts of the Spirit. Say, from today, I'm hungry for the power gifts 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I now receive the impartation of the Holy Ghost right now for the gifts of the Spirit, the word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, discernment of spirits, working of miracles, gifts of healings, instant faith, tongues, interpretation of tongues, and prophecy are operating in me in the name of Jesus from today I'm working miracles come on I can't hear you say I'm working the miracles I'm working the miracles and from today signs and wonders are following me in my city I have authority in my city I dominate the atmosphere in my city I am the principality Oh, I can hear you say, in my city, I am the principality. In the name of Jesus, wherever I go, the Spirit of God goes. Wherever I go, miracles are taking place. Wherever I go, devils cannot stay in my presence. Now say, Holy Spirit, just as you was with Jesus, from conception all the way to crucifixion and resurrection and ascension be with me today in the name of Jesus are you ready lift up your hands right now Dr. Glenn Arecchion is coming to Southampton England for the Excel convention in October three days of power-packed services with a view to releasing the miraculous in the lives of believers. Come to Victory Gospel Center October 10th through the 12th for this year's Release of the Miraculous featuring Dr. Arekian and his guest, Pastor Ose Ibi Amahan from Nigeria. The earthly ministry of Jesus was miraculous and it continues to be miraculous. So come to our Excel convention and receive the promises Jesus made for you. Join us for the healing service at 10 a.m. on Saturday the 11th. Come, receive the miraculous at Victory Gospel Center, 154 to 156 Portswood Road, Southampton, SO17, 2NH. Get more details online at glenarechion.org or call 02380-551300. That's 02380-551300. Go ye into all the world is a mandate given to every believer. However, not everybody's called to go on the mission field. But you can still play your part in the Great Commission and partner with Glenn Arecchion Ministries. Today, considered to be one of Dr. Glenn's faithful, financial, and prayerful partners. 